Turkey, the country that unites two continents, Europe and Asia. Welcome to a combination between European culture and the Middle East. One of my favorite things is getting lost and unexpectedly, 24 hours before we were informed that our next destination was the city of Kusadasi. It's a major port in the Turkish Mediterranean and it's one of the most popular choices for holidays in Turkey and the point from which many other famous destinations can be seen. If you want to discover more things about this amazing country, keep watching! Guys, so we had a slight change because of the bad weather, so instead of going from Venice, Brindisi and Mykonos, we're going to do a Turkish port, like they said that in Mykonos there is a lot of wind, so let's see tomorrow how is this going to be. So we decided to pay for a tour, let's see what we have tomorrow. Hopefully the schedule is not going to change more. Let's hope, let's pray that tomorrow we have a great day. Good morning Turkey! We woke up with these incredible views and with a lot of energy to discover this exotic country. So now we are at the meeting point. We have to wait for the buses to come because there's still three big cruises outside. I hope we have time to do the, the walking tour, like the entire walking tour because it looks very interesting. Here we are finally at the port. This is our cruise and we're going to the bus. The first thing we saw was a typical port and a city that seemed quite European. The first thing you see are many shops with typical Turkish things, which of course I love, and also most of the people were dressed in a western way, so they weren't covering themselves. So now we are going to the Pigeon Island. There is the island, there is a castle, and the guide is going to explain to us uh, its history. The most famous place and the first one we saw was the castle on Pigeon Island, linked to the land by a small path. This castle was built almost 500 years ago, so it's relatively new. Also, this castle was very useful to protect the city of the pirates. A few kilometers away, like super near, you can see a Greek island, so we are in a zone where you can see many Turkish and Greek islands. They explained to us that in this zone there are hundreds of species of plants and especially birds that are exclusive to this place. Then we walked a little bit and we went to take the bus that was waiting for us. We are at the bus right now, they gave us some water and we're going to the old town. It's like 11 am and the sun is very strong, so hopefully we we'll go to the street and we have we we'll find some shade. We were able to see the real Turkey when the bus left us on a normal street. They showed us a typical Turkish house with the typical furniture. And then we were invited to have a tea with a very nice man who explained Turkish history to us and played some traditional music. <laughs> was a small mosque. To enter you have to take off your shoes. I loved the simplicity, the decoration and the peace you can feel inside. So now we were in the Turkish Haram. Uh, it's only 20 euros and they can scrub you and do a massage. And now we're going to go to, or to an original place where they make water with their hands. On this visit we could not miss the typical Turkish bath, also known as Hamam. As you all know, it's a steam bath that cleanses and relaxes the whole body. So this is the place where they're going to show us how they make pottery. This is like a typical shop with the typical designs and colors and decorations. All oriental legends are full with bright patterns of these colored glasses. Turkey is home to mosaic lamps and one of the most advanced manufacturers for more than 6,000 years. Guys, so these are the typical Turkish lamps, the color, the, the design. And we can buy them here, but we cannot buy them because we don't have space. But all the colors, all the designs are very, very beautiful. One of the things that caught my attention the most is the bright colors that you can find everywhere, in any street, house or store. 
It's like every place is perfect for a photo shoot. So right now we are walking in a typical street in the old town and we are going to go to a place where they sell carpets. I think it's going to be very interesting. One of the things that the Turks are famous for are the carpets. The carpet was first introduced to the Middle East by the Turks, showing a great development. In this place they showed us how they make real silk carpets and guys it was amazing. So now the man is giving an explanation but I prefer to come here with no one. So you can see a lot of carpets here. They told us that they cost between $300 and some of them can cost like a million dollars. Some of them are like very, very thick and the other ones are super thin and very, very soft. So I I'm going to show you more. This is super soft and super thin. The colors are amazing. I love this one. We find a lot of rooms. Here we have like the same style, more average colors. One string like this, nearly 20-25 cocoons. Another thing that the Turks are famous for is their sweets. They have many kinds of sweets, both soft and hard, but they all have one thing in common. They are extremely sweet and each bite has at least 10,000 calories. So now we are in a small typical place and we bought some baklava, which is the typical sweet here. It's made of pastry and also a lot of sugar. It's very heavy, that's why they say it like small bites. Um, some one have walnuts and other ones have pistachio and there are many other types, but we said to take the typical ones. So let's try it. Well guys, this is the, the goodbye of the city. We could not see much more, but I feel that in five hours we saw a lot of things, the people, the culture, the food and I think that it's very good also to see places that are not so typical like the big crowded cities. It was very nice and surprised. I didn't expect anything from here and I liked it very much. We had the full Turkish experience which means that you buy something for a good offer and then you find it in another place for much cheaper. That is part of the experience here in Turkey. Yeah, we're going to continue our cruise. If you want to know our next destination, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope to see you in my next video. No, thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. I have real thanks. I hope you have learned something from this incredible country and we had to refill our batteries, so we went on the cruise again. And guys, if you want to see our next destination, it's very easy. Just subscribe.